Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about company values, why they are important, why is it important to talk about them, and how can we implement them. This channel is for entrepreneurs and business executives. We share insights, ideas, tips, interviews to help you become better leaders. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing on the link below. Let's get to the video. Values will lead to behavior that you need to be able to reach your purpose, vision, and mission. It's so important to have everything written down so that every single person within the company is aligned and understand what we are trying to do. Let's start by defining your five values and think about the values as behaviors, as verbs, as uh, tools to help you make better decisions and the reason it's so important that values are associated with verbs or with actions or with behaviors is that you want people to live by the values you don't only want to have a set of words that are on a wall or on a piece of paper you want people to understand how you want them to live these values every single day of their work life Let's get to an example. In our case, we have an acronym so that we remember them. It's GTTPIL, so it's Growth, Tribe, Trust, and then Positivity, Innovation, Learn, and Lebanese Ambassadors. Positivity is always the first value that we talk about uh, during hiring when people come at their first day in the job because as we discussed before we're all about creating happy moments and spreading happiness and we cannot do that if we're not uh, positive from within. The whole idea and the reason why we talk so much about positivity is so if someone doesn't, doesn't think that he or she is a positive person, they know that they won't be able to belong here and they won't be able to succeed in a company that is all about positivity. So also values or focusing on some values will help you attract the right people and also push away people that will not thrive within your organization. Another value is innovation. And this comes as a surprise for a lot of people. They tell us you're just about selling donuts and coffee. And this is the point. We are not just about selling donuts and coffee. The donuts, the coffee, or the hummus and the tabbouleh for Simpson are actually tools to be able to reach our purpose, which is about spreading happiness. We can be innovative on the spreading happiness side, not only on the product side. For example, we're now in the COVID-19 crisis, and we kept thinking on how we can turn negatives into positives. So for example, the mask, have big smiles on their faces. Uh, we have cards with the picture of the team members so that people can recognize them. We have uh, mannequins in uh, some of the stores uh, with empty tables so that the store doesn't look empty even if we have social distancing. So innovation is very important and making sure that our team member understand that we need to constantly innovate and con constantly rethink our ourselves and always grow and always become, uh, become better is is super important. Now that it's clear why values are important and how they can spread positive behaviors within your organization, after you chose five values that are of importance to you, to your brand, to your company, now we're going to give you five ideas on how to implement your values into your company. The first one is lead by example. I know it sounds cliche and you've heard this before, but at the end of the day, especially for values, especially when you're trying to push people to do specific behaviors, if you don't do it them yourself, then there's no point in even talking about it. So when you're choosing the values that are important to you, when you're choosing which behavior you want to be pushing, make sure they are in line with your personality. You cannot put positivity as a main behavior if you're always frowning and you don't know how to smile. You cannot put efficiency if you're completely disorganized. So make sure that 
the values that you choose for your companies are values that you can live by because you need to lead by example for people to follow your lead. The second way of implementing them is to talk about them. Make sure they are part of interviews, they are part of training, they are part of onboarding process. If you are able to get people early on, to get into the behavior that you want them to be focusing on, it makes everything easier. The third tip is actually to write them down. So, okay, we selected them, you're leading by example, we're talking about them, having them written is key on walls, in booklet, in manifestos, in wherever, whatever works for you, but it's very important to have them in your face. Having them in front of you is going to help you reinforce these values and reinforce this behavior to make sure that it becomes part of the DNA of the company. The fourth tip on ways to implement behavior is to actually play with them. Yep, we do activations every month, competitions between stores based on behavior so that people understand not only why the behavior is important, how you're living this uh, behavior, but also how can they live this value or live this behavior in their everyday life. And the fifth tip to make sure that your values are implemented, review them every couple of years because these values are not set in stone to make sure they are still relevant in today's world. The way the world is changing very fast and it's important to make sure that everything that is important to your company is always evolving and is always relevant to today's world. With this video, we're concluding our series of purpose, vision, mission, and values. If this was useful to you, first, don't forget to subscribe. Second, put some thumbs up to make sure that we know that you enjoyed the video. And don't hesitate to send us an email or a message with any question you might have on any of our social media platforms. See you next week.